Buildings play a huge role in our daily lives. In fact, the average person spends 90% of their life indoors, including cumulative years working, learning, shopping, and connecting in commercial buildings. Across sectors like schools, office, retail, and government, the time we spend inside commercial buildings accounts for 18% of all energy consumed in the United States. Unfortunately, many of these buildings have outdated or inefficient HVAC systems that create unhealthy and uncomfortable indoor environments and are costly to operate and maintain. The good news is that research and field studies have shown that we can make these commercial HVAC deficiencies a thing of the past. HVAC experts have determined the optimal approach to HVAC design that greatly improves indoor air quality and occupant health, comfort, and productivity while maximizing energy cost savings. This optimized, high-performance approach to HVAC combines high-efficiency equipment with design best practices, including an electric heat pump system that meets ENERGY STAR performance standards, pairing the heating and cooling with a high-efficiency heat or energy recovery ventilator, fully separating the ventilation from the heating and cooling, and right-sizing the heating and cooling equipment. In this approach, an electric heat pump system that meets ENERGY STAR performance standards provides increased energy savings, improved temperature control, and enhanced comfort for building occupants all year long. And with a wide variety of equipment options available to choose from, building designers have plenty of flexibility for their particular HVAC system design needs. Another important aspect of this approach is the inclusion of a high-efficiency heat or energy recovery ventilator that features 82% or greater sensible effectiveness. The high-efficiency ventilation system efficiently preheats incoming air by recovering heat from the outgoing exhaust air in the winter. In the summer, it pre-cools the incoming air by rejecting heat to the outgoing exhaust air. This process significantly reduces the need for wasteful post-conditioning of ventilation air. By fully decoupling the ventilation air from the primary heating and cooling air, this approach provides filtered, non-recirculated outdoor air into building interiors. The consistent delivery of fresh outside air and avoidance of recirculated air helps to minimize the circulation and introduction of contaminated particles, an important way to minimize the spread of viruses and other toxins inside the building, while also reducing the entry of harmful particles from outside, including during periods of poor outdoor air quality. With all of these built-in efficiencies, this approach often allows building designers to downsize the heating and cooling system, since it no longer has to work so hard to keep occupants comfortable. And the results are not just theoretical. Real-world installations, tracked and measured for performance across the Northwest, have demonstrated that, when applied together, these equipment and design best practices reduce HVAC energy usage by an average of 65% and reduce whole building energy usage by an average of 36%. In particular, these installations have revealed some ideal project and building types that can benefit from this approach, including small to medium buildings less than 50,000 square feet, both new construction and major renovations, and several applicable building types, including schools, retail, government, and office buildings. This thoughtful, proven approach to HVAC design is the best way to maximize the efficiency of your commercial building while providing healthy indoor air and comfortable temperatures for occupants all year long. Increasing your building's energy efficiency and improving occupant happiness is not only great for the environment and your tenant's health and peace of mind, but it also comes with a host of tangible bottom-line benefits, including motivating long-standing tenants and higher occupancy rates, helping meet green building certification requirements, and improving building marketability. By taking these steps, building designers, owners, and operators can make our commercial spaces safer, healthier, and more efficient and comfortable than they've ever been before.